What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it because at 3,300 subscribers, we're having a raffle. Before we get started, I want to talk to you guys about our YouTube channel that has caught my attention. The name of it is 360 Garage. If you're not subscribed to him, go down below in the description and go follow the link over to this channel. He's got a lot of videos he's been busting out weekly rustoleum paint jobs in all kinds of colors go check them out let me show you guys this is the guy i'm talking about right here look at all the crazy videos he's got all kinds of paint jobs so go check him out and give him a subscribe let them know that you're coming from over here and also he just picked up an ek that he's going to be modifying and doing stuff to it um he's talking about doing a crazy paint job to it so definitely go down below and check him out so now let's get to our video this is an ebay fuel pump a lot of my buddies have been running this this whole kit came in this box just like this for $21 it comes with everything so here's the description for it $21 the brand is Osayas I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but like I said a lot of my buddies have been running this and they've had no issues at all so i think i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna run this pump and supposedly this pump is good up to like 600 horsepower so for 21 dollars and the fact that i have easy access to the fuel pump hell yeah i'm gonna try this let's start the unboxing of this so we got the little sock filter right here. We got this guy. We got this guy. We have the pump itself. Yeah, this is exactly the same one that some of my buddies have been running it's got the connector and I decided to pull out my connectors because we might have to splice these to the old harness it's got this right here usually this thing goes right here on the top but I don't know if I'm gonna use it yet and of course there's two little clamps inside and I got some zip ties because I know from old old civics that I've worked on or not old civics but other civics that I've worked on you always got to use the zip ties to get this guy to to stay on there so now that we got this unboxed let's get inside the car pull out the other pump and install the new one so i still haven't cleaned up the inside of the civic there's still a lot of metal exposed and a lot of metal shavings all over the place um that we're gonna have to probably clean up i'm just gonna go ahead and dust anything off that's right here that could fall in there when i open this And we're gonna go ahead and pull these screws out.
I'm gonna disconnect all these wires. So this whole piece is out of the way now. So now this is what this looks like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect these lines right here and we're gonna pull all of these out. So I'm gonna squeeze this right here pretty hard and slide this whole clip out. and we're leaking some fuel. But that's disconnected now. I'm gonna try to grab this. Oh, I need to get different, yeah, some different pliers or something. So usually these are really stuck on here like this one is what I'll do is I'll take my pliers I'll grab it and I'll twist it that breaks it breaks up whatever's making it stay stuck in there all right so this time what's working for me is I'm twisting back and forth and I'm pulling with this hand and there it is so now we're gonna go ahead and remove all of these so these are number 10 I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out They're so rusty that they're getting, this one's just got stuck in there. All right, this one didn't get stuck. This one got stuck. one all right so before I lift this up I'm gonna go ahead and try to get all this little powder out of here try to wipe all this down so I got the whole thing wiped down pretty good um, the reason why I said to wipe it all down it's because you don't want that debris falling into your gas tank. So now you gotta work this guy out. Spin him around, or however he wants to come out. And there it is. You guys can see what the pump looks like, exactly like the other one. There's still fuel in there. It's nice and golden, but I think I'm gonna drain it out. Not today, but I'm gonna drain it out before I get the car started. So let me show you guys the difference in size. When I put this one right up to this one right next to it, like right around there, it looks like the metal piece is bigger on this one and the plastic is a little bit smaller but besides that connectors all look about the same and underneath I'm not sure if the filters on the opposite side now 
I'm gonna take out this screw that's right here on this side. That's just the ground that goes to here. And then the other one is the power. So I'm just gonna take this one off really quick. Disconnect this thing right here about the little pigtail. But now I'm gonna release this right here. So I just released a little clamp, I slid it down, and then this guy should just pop off. and then out from up here. I have to do the plier thing again. I just did the little trick with the pliers again. I wiggled it as I pulled and it came off. I didn't want to just cut this or destroy this because I know that this fuel pump is still good. So I'm just gonna save this, this pump. So the first thing I'm going to do to this is I came with this little sleeve. I'm not sure whether to run this sleeve or not. It came with this rubber piece. I'm going to go ahead and put this rubber piece down here. I'm going to take off the cap. Put this guy in here. Push him all the way through. And I'm going to put my filter. This guy has a cap also to keep, keep any debris out. Push it in really good. And then I came with this little locking washer that's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna put my locking washer. And I don't know if you guys can see how the locking washer is flat on this side and then this side has like the little spikes going up right now I want those spikes going up just like that I'm gonna get something to push that in with and lock it in I ended up using two keys that were exactly the same size put them together and then I went on each little corner and I pushed it in and I did that all the way around and now it's locked in so this sleeve that I was talking about, it looks like it goes over like this, but look how big this fits. I guess it kind of like insulates the pump or whatever. I don't know, this just looks ridiculous with this sleeve like that. And this one, the original one, didn't have a sleeve on there at all. So I don't know, maybe I could just trim it. Or maybe they designed it like this to cover the wires, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. Do you guys know why this sleeve was designed like that? Let me know in the comments below. Before we get too far into cutting this hose that goes on there and putting this on there, let's go and run some power to this pump and make sure that we hear it turn on. Don't worry, it's not going to burn. I'm not going to run it long. Just long enough where I can hear it. And I've done this before many times. And I haven't fried up any pumps. So let's go see if there's any noise if this thing turns on. So I'm running the wires to the battery of my other Civic. Let's see if we hear this thing turn on. So we have power, here goes the negative, did you guys hear that? It works. You know I had to test it out, it is a $20 pump, 
Just make sure that I'm not doing all this for nothing. So now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this hose, put it on here, and see how much I gotta cut off. Not even that much. So maybe half of it. So I got it cut. I don't think I'm gonna use these clamps that came with the kit because these clamps they have these lines right here they tend to chew up any kind of holes so I'm just gonna go and use the same clamps that this one had the OEM ones I'm gonna take this one off and reuse it So I had a change of plans. I ended up using the hose clamps, the ones that I told you that were bad, because the ones, the OEM ones, especially this one right here, got a little bit messed up. So that's the reason why I ended up using these. Um, what I'm gonna do now that I got that on there is I'm gonna cut this wire, or actually this wire right here pigtail just like that I'm just gonna set it to the side and we are gonna wire our new pump in so for the wiring there's several ways how you could go about doing this you could solder this you could do a bunch of different ways um, you could use these guys put one in here put one in here and there's your ground um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these. This is what I've used before and these work really good. So I'm going to start with my positive. I'm going to loop it through where the old one was. Right through there. We're going to unloop this guy. Put this one through there. all the way through and I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming right here so I'm just gonna cut this guy right here and then we are gonna cut this guy a little bit shorter let me see so what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy so you can see in there this side is blocked off but this side's wide open so since this is the wire we're adding we're going to put this one in the side that's blocked off push it all the way in and then we're going to take this guy we actually push this guy in first on this side and now push this one all the way through until it hits that wall And then all you do is just push down on this right here and that's pretty much it it splices everything together it's nice and flush and now I close this thing down locks it all in I just trim the axis off. That's pretty much it for the positive. So now we're going to do with the negative. So I lost a little negative wire that I had. They had the little hoop at the end. But luckily I have these two guys that I'm just going to put in to here and then put them back on there. I went ahead and I smashed this guy on there. That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and put him right back where it goes.
So the final thing I want to do is grab the zip ties and just secure my pump. I did not use the sleeve that went on there. I figure, what the hell, the hell with it. And all we're going to do is just secure this guy on here. I put two zip ties on here. So this thing's pretty much ready to go back into the car. Same way how it came out, just the opposite on everything. Now I'm going to clip this guy back in. Make sure this guy clips in there. And then for this one, I'm not sure where I put the little clamp that goes on it. Let me look for it. I couldn't find it, but luckily I have this one. Now all your connectors could go back. All my connectors are in. And finally the cover can go back on. So we are completely finished for now. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and remember, go check out that 360 Garage channel, because he's got a lot of good stuff. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.